Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Miss Lauren Lee 11 and today I'm going to be showing you a little thing that, you know, can keep your hair super moisturized. I just done this so I know it keeps your hair moisturized and I wanted to try it out before I filmed it because I, I didn't want to come on here trying to you know, hype on you guys and then it doesn't work. So if you saw my last video guys, oh my God, the flashbacks. Yeah, see it really is my hair without any product, all dry. Obviously it's a bit frizzy. I feel like I'm looking a bit like Edward Scissorhands. I know my hair is about to get super tangled. I was showing you how my hair looked without any product whatsoever because I had a couple of guys saying, you know, what you do isn't a wash and go. I thought, okay, let me just jump on video and show you what my hair looks like without any product. Let it dry. Oh, my hair was just very dry. My hair needs products. My hair needs moisture. So that has now inspired me to do this video because I just want to stay far away as possible from having a wash and go without any products. And I'm going to show you what I'm going to do today. So this little thing, as I said, is something that I think I've come up with. I haven't heard it anywhere else. It's the LLG method. So guys, what that stands for is liquid leave-in grease, or the alternative, Lauren Lee's gift to you. <laughs> anyway, so as I said, I'm gonna show you how to do this method. As you can see, my hair is wet, but ironically, water dries out my hair. So I'm gonna to have to put another liquid in just to combat that dryness. And what I'm going to be using today for the liquid, you've seen this in my last couple of videos, is the Texture My Way Keep It Curly Styling Foam. And the reason why I love this for moisture, guys, is because once you put it in your hair, it just foams up and it just literally just stays juicy. My hair's starting to dry here, as you can see. So I'm gonna apply this first. Secondly, for my leave-in, I'm gonna use Not Your Mother's 3-in-1 Conditioner. I don't know why I didn't get more when I was in the States. I just assumed that these products wouldn't necessarily work, so I'll just pick one up at a time. Which makes no sense, because it's not like I'm hopping on a plane today now, is it? Don't even get me started on the shipping costs. I literally just saw shipping costs as 30 pounds. Anyway, 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 let me just not even start on that. I love this leave-in, it leaves my hair soft, it leaves it literally moisturized, it leaves my hair feeling just plump and juicy. So this is going to be the second part of the method. And then obviously the last part of the method is the hair grease. But this particular hair grease I love to use when my hair is wet to hold it is the Blue Magic Indian Hemp. Now don't get me wrong guys, I do love my Dax, but Dax for me is more like um, styling my hair or just rubbing on my scalp or just smoothing down the strands if I'm gonna pull my hair back into a bun. But if I'm gonna be styling my hair, because I'm gonna be braiding my hair, I might do a braid out at the end of this video because the hold of this and all those products layered, mixed together. Ooh. So that's what we're gonna be doing. We're gonna be layering products today, guys, and that's what I love to do to retain the moisture in my hair, to retain length. All right, guys, so just carry on watching.
Okay guys, so as you saw, I layered all three products. If you get product residue showing like this, you're on the right path. My hair gets very dry, so all of this will then soak into the hair. Can you imagine all that goodness in my strands? Yes. As you saw, we sealed in the hair with the hair grease and then I just sealed in the ends again because for me, doing this with the hair grease, it prevents split ends, breakage, fairy knots. Can you see how juicy that is? Yeah. So I'm gonna go ahead, do the rest off camera. I just literally showed you what you need to do. Yeah, I'm gonna come back to you when I finish these plaits, show you the end result, then I'm gonna show you once my hair is dry. That's the, that's the juicy part, no pun intended. That's what we're waiting for. I think I'm gonna do a braid out. I don't know, because I'm thinking if I wanna do protective style, I don't know. I might do a braid out. Ooh, I'll do a braid out. <laughs> I'll do a braid out in the next video, guys. Anyway, I'm just gonna do this off camera and then I'll come back to you. Okay, guys, so now I'm back. <laughs> Obviously, you can see I haven't finished the final one. And there's a reason why I've come back on camera to show you why I'm adding the liquid, i.e. the foam in styling style foam <laughs> to my hair. And this is the reason why. As I said, the method is liquid leaving grease. Uh, my hair already is starting to dry. Now, if I go and put the leave-in on top of this, it's gonna rip out my hair. Okay, so now I'm going to have to re-moisten it with the foam. And you don't just want it on your ends, guys. You want it all over, so even the scalp. And the reason why I'm using this foam as well, guys, is another reason because if you do want to do a braid out, this sets your hair perfectly. Now my hair is re-moistened, there you go. Now I've got that. Before I apply the leave-in, I just want to detangle it a little bit more. So now I'm gonna apply the leave-in. And again, you wanna to apply to your scalp because you want all your hair to be uniform. You want it to lay down. So again, if you feel like you need to detangle, you can do so, but I'm just gonna detangle a little bit more. So when I applied the cream, it kind of bunched up and I don't like that. I like my hair to lay flat. Okay, and now with my brush, I'm going to smooth my strands down. And this is what I've done throughout my hair. So ready, this is literally just two products layered on top of each of us. The liquid and leave-in. And now I'm going to apply the grease. Okay. I'm going to make sure I get the ends. And I'll work my way up. My hair is fully saturated. And just a little tip, guys. If you can see how I've plaited my hair, I haven't plaited it inwards, I've plaited it outwards because I feel my hair is more secure that way and it doesn't puff up so much at the roots. So I get a tighter braid. And you just want to make sure as well guys as I said that your strands are detangled while you're braiding down or plaiting down. So guys, as you can see, I use hair grease quite a bit. I use it for my wash and goes with gel. I've used it for a wash and go on its own. I use it to grease my scalp, I use it to seal my ends because to me, hair grease is like a plaster. It does the job, it seals the ends and it heals the hair and it provides that protective layer. Again, a little bit more on the ends. Hey, this is hair grease, if you can see through all that hair product. I'm apply a little bit more on the ends. So as I said, that white residue, as you can see here, it will start to disappear. It will start to disappear. But if you can hear, my hair is kind of, sounds spongy. And that's what you want, okay? So just brush. Until next wash day, I will not be applying any more product because you don't want to do that, guys. You don't want the build up. Okay, guys, so this I'm going to leave in to dry for about two days just to make sure it's fully dry. So I'm going to make this a part one and then to see the end results, you're going to have to come back for part two, which will be, I guess, in a couple of days. So guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in part two.